My name is Carolyn and I am a pelvic floor specialist. I help the active woman navigate pregnancy and postpartum so she can get back to the activities that she loves and desires uh, safely and effectively after she gives birth to a baby. Um, I am so passionate about helping women understand their bodies better, what is going on in their bodies during pregnancy, and um, how to safely and effectively return to exercise and running postpartum so that things like incontinence, prolapse, painful sex don't crop up in the next few months or even years. It's really important to be proactive um, and do some very simple exercises and um, stretches to help your body recover from pregnancy and delivery. So I'm so glad that you are interested in my Return to Run program and wanted to get some more information and just know what my top three exercises are that I recommend for all my runners, really. Um, but I like to recommend um, a couple of exercises for hip strengthening and glute strengthening. Uh, runners are notorious for having weaker, weaker hips and weaker glutes and um, these three exercises really help to activate those muscles and um, keep them nice and strong and healthy so that you can be a healthy runner. So the first one is side steps. Side steps, you just have a nice little band, a loop band around um, your ankles and you get in a little squat position tuck your pelvis up and under so you engage your transverse abdominis and pelvic floor and then you step side to side um, 10 steps one direction 10 steps the other way really trying to focus on pulling up and in at your pelvic floor and um, not letting your foot snap in that's the key to that you want to be really really controlled the second exercise is monster walk so the same thing you have a loop band around your ankles and you uh, are in the same little squat, pelvic floor tucked up and in, do the little pu uh, t pubic bone tilt, pulling your pubic bone up to your belly button, and then you step forward and out and together, forward and out and together. 10 steps forward, hitting with your heel each time, and then 10 steps backwards, hitting with your toe each time. The third exercise is um, a hip extension with glute squeeze. So if you're not currently pregnant or you're in early stages and can lay on your stomach, I really like this exercise um, lying down. And But if you are pregnant and further along, um, or if you have any abdominal discomfort of any sort, you can do it standing. So the videos will show both ways to do it, but the prone one and the standing one, you basically do a glute squeeze first because you want to activate those glute muscles and then you extend your leg backwards um, and hold for five seconds, release the leg extension and then release the glute squeeze. And the point of this exercise is actually more for neural reprocessing. So runners are really notorious for not activating their glutes in the correct sequence. We're supposed to activate our glutes first and then our hamstrings to push through the gait cycle, really get that extension at the hip. Um, but a lot of runners do their hamstring first and then the glute turns on eventually or sometimes never and can lead to hip injuries, um, pains, and other dysfunctions if you're turning on your hamstring before your glute. So this exercise is kind of a reprocessing exercise and it's reminding our brains that you are supposed to turn on your glute first and then your hamstring. So you accomplish that by doing a little butt clench and then extend the leg, hold, return the leg, and then release the butt clench. So you'll see in the video um, demonstration me doing that lying down first and then doing it in a standing up position. But those are my three exercises that I really, really recommend all my runners do. And excellent for um, my pregnant and postpartum runners as well. Those three exercises are integrated into my return to run program at certain points. Um, but if you are a runner right now thinking about getting pregnant or you've already had babies and you're trying to just kind of stay healthy and um, prevent injury, these three exercises are excellent ones to integrate into your program. Um, you know, multiple times a week as just a maintenance, proactive program. I hope you enjoy these exercises and um, please reach out to me if you have any questions about my Return to Run program and if you would like to get signed up.
um, yeah, my email address is carolyn at verityptw.com. You can also find my contact information in my bio, um, and my website is veritypt.org. So I look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, now I am talking about and demonstrating side steps. I love side steps as a great lateral hip stabilizer exercise, strengthener. Um, side steps are really amazing for all runners, but really anybody who wants to be active and healthy. Um, it works the lateral hip stabilizers and strengthens them. The lateral hip stabilizers are what really help keep our knees in space wherever they are. So if you have a lot of medial knee collapse, um, you want to work on your lateral hip stabilizer. So you want a loop band or you can just get an elastic band and tie it so that you make it a loop out, a loop out of it. If it's a little bit too long, like mine is, I recommend doing a little twist in between um, in the middle when you put it on your ankles so I'll show you now so the band since mine is kind of long I'm gonna give it two little twists and then put it around both ankles okay and then you start out in a nice little squat position tuck your hips up and under of course engage your transverse abdominis pelvic floor up and in kind of have your hands on your hips like this um, really palpating your transverse abdominals, make sure your, your abdominals are nice and in. And then you step to the side, together. Side, together. Side, together. About 10 one direction and then 10 the other way. So same thing, tuck your hips up and under, to the side, together. Um, don't let this leg snap in really fast. You really wanna control the motion, okay? And you just step as far as you can with good resistance. Okay, now I'm talking about monster walks. Monster walks are another really good hip stabilizer strengthener, strengthening exercise. Um, you have a loop band again, and I would recommend if it's kind of long to um, do a little twist in the middle. Uh, but what you do is you just get in the same little squat position like you were in for the side steps. Um, but instead of side taking steps sideways, you're taking steps forward. Uh, each step you want step forward, you want to hit with your heel, and then when you reverse it, you want to hit with your toes. So I'll show you now. Band around your ankles. Again, give it a couple of twists if it's kind of long. Okay, and then get in that squat position. Tuck your hips up and under, really pull your pubic bone up, and then you step forward and out, hitting with that heel, and then together. Forward and out, and together. About 10 steps forward, and then backwards. So backwards and out, touching with the toe, together. Backwards and out, touching with the toe. I'll show you forwards like this, so forwards and out, together. Forward and out, together, and then backwards. So a little bit to the side and a little bit back with each step. Keeping the transverse abdominis, pelvic floor up and in the whole time. You should really be feeling it on the lateral hips um, and yeah, in the pelvic floor as you're pulling up and in. Okay, this is a demonstration of the prone hip extension with a glute squeeze. So you wanna be laying on your stomach and you wanna get down all the way so you can nice and relax. And then all you do is clench your butt, clench, clench those butt cheeks together, and then you lift one leg, hold for five seconds, three, four, five, lower the leg, and then release the glute clench, okay? So I'm just gonna show you again. Squeeze your booty, lift, five, four, three, two, one, back down, and release the booty. Okay, so this next video is um, demonstrating the modification of the prone hip extension with glute squeeze in case you have some abdominal discomfort or if you're pregnant and further along in your pregnancy and you can't lay on your stomach. So it's the same concept. You're trying to remind your brain of the processing. You want to clench your glutes first and then extend your leg, hold for five seconds, return the leg, and then release the glutes and then repeat. 
So if you have a big pregnant belly um, or having some abdominal discomfort, have had abdominal surgery or something like that, you don't like laying on your stomach, then you can do it this way. So you can um, find a table or maybe your kitchen counter um, or even a wall if you don't have anything. It's nice to be able to bend forward a little bit. Um, but I'll just demonstrate here on this table. So you wanna get kind of into a plank position here and then you squeeze your glutes, clench those butts, butt muscles, and then lift the leg, hold, 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 and then back down, and then release the glute squeeze. So clench, lift and hold, release, and release the clench. So you definitely wanna make sure you're engaging your pelvic floor up and in, engaging the transverse abdominis, but the focus of this exercise is to clench your glutes, then extend the leg, hold that, release the leg, and then release the glute clench. Um, it's a neural reprocessing exercise and really, really good for um, runners to help our bodies remember that we need to turn on our butt muscles before our hamstring in the middle of the gait cycle. So those are my three exercises that I'd highly recommend all runners do, especially you um, as you're going through this time of lots of body changes, whether you are pregnant or postpartum and trying to get back to running. Um, I'd highly recommend getting these into your routine and just keeping them in your routine for forever. If you're a runner or a hard exerciser, you want to really focus on keeping those hips nice and strong and utilizing your glutes. The glute muscles are really big muscles and powerful. If we aren't using them um, correctly or as much as we can, then other parts of our body have to compensate and that might lead to injury or pain or other dysfunctions. So highly recommend adding these into your exercise kind of routine. Um, four times a week would be ideal or four times a week would be great. Uh, six, seven times a week would be ideal. It's not a weighted exercise. None of these are really weighted. You have the band, but the band isn't overloading a ton so you can do these every single day um, if you have any questions about my postpartum return to run uh, protocol or if you want to um, sign up you can just use the link uh, in this email or find me on my website email me carolyn at veritypt.w.com uh, um, and if you have any questions you can also sign up for a free 15 minute phone consultation with me so lots of options to get all your questions answered and i'm really looking forward to working with you going forward and getting you back to the activities that you love doing so that you can feel like yourself feel good and also be a great parent and just really thrive in life once again my name is carolyn i am a head physical therapist and owner of verity physical therapy and wellness i look forward to meeting you soon bye